Welcome back. Joining the show is Jay Taylor, the managing partner of Kinghorn Insurance in Beaufort, and we are discussing homeowners insurance as it relates to hurricane preparedness. And so let's get started. I know that with the recent storms that we've had, a lot of people had some rude awakenings, lessons learned. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, thanks. Thanks for having me on. Uh, really, consumers need to have a plan. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, consumers need to have a plan. That plan, part of that plan needs to include a review of their insurance policy. They need to, clients need to look at this as an opportunity to see what their insurance program is going to do for them. They need to, best advice would be go see your agent. Go talk to them. See what you're paying for. See what it's going to do. When, it, when it's going to help you and when it's not going to help you, and what you are ultimately responsible for. Right, because I think people are really unaware of exactly what's in their policies, and now is a great time to do that because we are at the start of hurricane season, so let's get it in place before anything happens again. Um, and so, we are, we are, we are, we are in hurricane season now. It's exactly right. Now is a great time to come see us. Come sit down with your insurance professional. Again, talk to them about the coverages that you have. Talk to them about different deductible options just so clients aren't, aren't rudely awakened when they have a loss to find that their loss may not be covered or they're responsible for a large out-of-pocket expense that they may not be prepared for. And so talk to us a little bit about if something does happen, what is the claims process? How does that work exactly? Well, the claims, that's a great question. Uh, the claims process, especially with these past storms, folks didn't know what to do. They called us, they were in a panic, their home has been destroyed or damaged, or their, their belongings have been damaged. They just didn't know what to do. It's a confusing process for most. And really the best advice would be to document that as best as possible. Take photos, do an inventory, separate the items that have been damaged or destroyed from those that have not. Uh, go ahead and document that as best as possible. Also, go ahead and don't wait necessarily for a claims adjuster to, to come out and see you. Go ahead, if you can go ahead and start the process, go ahead and get it done. If you can contract, go ahead and contact some contractors to get estimates and bids to repair the work or to replace the items that were damaged, go ahead and do so. That way, when the adjuster is able to meet with you, you can hand that information to them and it'll make their process a lot easier and therefore it'll make your claims process easy. Well, our time is flying by here, so in the last 20 seconds or so, I want to make sure we get in. People who are renting condos or villas, they need to come talk to you too, right? Just because they're renting doesn't mean they don't need insurance. That is correct. Absolutely. Your stuff can be damaged too. There's easy, inexpensive ways to cover that exposure, so make sure you go talk to your insurance agent. Well, Jay, we appreciate all your information, and you need to come back and see us because there's a lot more to talk about. Thanks for being with we'll us. Do. We'll do. There certainly is. Thank you. Up next, we'll learn where Low Country Habitat is building next and all about a thrift store with a powerful mission. Don't go away.